If you think prize picks is just a lottery slip in disguise, it's actually time to start thinking again. Prize picks is actually just a fixed parlay where we can indeed use math and strategy that can make us profitable sports bettors. Now how their platform works, all you need to do is just pick more or less on a player's prop. You can throw them into either a two leg parlay up to a six leg parlay. And all of these have predetermined multipliers depending on the slip type that you choose, which is a power play or a flex play. Now the twist is that most people just kind of put their favorite plays in here and not think about the math to where they can actually profit long-term betting with prize picks. The thing to know is that each of these slip types have a known implied probability. So throughout this series, we'll be explaining how prize picks works and the strategies that you can use to start becoming a profitable sports bettors and relying on the real edges and not just a gut feeling. So let's go ahead and take a look at prize picks so that way we can further understand it. Now, once you get here to prize picks, it's actually quite simple to understand. We can see all of these different leagues that you wanted to bet on. So maybe if you want to bet on the NBA, you click NBA or maybe some upcoming NFL games, NHL, college football, soccer, tennis, doesn't matter. You can click on whatever sport you wanted to, and then it filters by all of these different prop types. So you can look at popular and what people are mostly betting, or maybe if you wanted to look at simply just the points and bet on just points, then you can absolutely do that. Now from here, it's all about selecting the more or less on these different player types. And again, so if we wanted to click some of these, what we're going to see are actually fixed payouts. So again, maybe we wanted, we, we see that these two plays are three X, but if we didn't want to use Kyle Kuzma anymore and we wanted to use this play, it's still three X, right? But if we start to add more and more plays, it's going to actually give us different payouts. So again, let's look at just the two pick. All we see on a two pick is just a two pick power, meaning that we have to go exactly two out of two. Now don't pay attention necessarily to this first pay place pays. We All we care about is this minimum guarantee because that's what we're going to get regardless of the out or regardless if this goes two out of two, not necessarily what first place gets. So again, we can see that this changes when we go two pick to three pick. This power goes from a three X to a six X. Now, the important thing to know here as well is with these, this includes your entry. So for instance, if we bet $20 on this, we are going to get 6X our entry fee, which is 120. That includes that $20, meaning that we'll actually only profit 100 bucks off of that. Now, what we see here also is again, a power play, meaning that we must go 100% hitting three out of three. Or what we could do is go with a flex play, which is a little bit of an insurance, meaning that again, if we go three out of three, since we're having an insurance play, they're gonna give us a lower payout. But if we go two out of three, what we're gonna get is a one X payout, meaning that we just get our entry fee uh, that we placed on this bet alone. So all of these different plays are a fixed payout no matter what we choose for all of these right for a five leg we can go 20x for a power or we can go a flex play which is a 10x 2x or a 0.4x meaning we'll get a little bit more money if we go three out of five but we're not going to get all of our money back right and if we wanted to add even another play what we're going to see again 40x 25x 2x 0.4x for this flex now, because these are fixed payouts, that means that you always know that there is a break even probability for each of these slips. So for instance, what I've done is I've gone ahead and created this chart that you can screenshot and use. And this is what we are going to consider as our break even point. As long as we're hitting this threshold and using the proper bankroll management, which is all stuff that we're going to break down later in this series. But the important thing to know in this first video is that we need to hit this threshold so that way we are over long term at least breaking even. Hopefully we're profiting, but at most we're going to at least hit zero. And what these looks like is for all of these different payouts, we can see these different percent odds to hit, right? Percent odds to hit for these legs, which is also then calculated to the odds per leg, which is kind of the important thing that we need to consider here. So for a two pick power, for a three X payout, what we're looking at is minus 137. That can be quite difficult to hit, but if we hit, we see two of those picks on outlier, then we can go ahead and pair those together. And then we see actually, if we do a three pick power, since they're giving us a six X payout, 
what we're looking at is minus 122. That is a 15 cent difference from what we see from a two pick power as opposed to a three pick power. So again, look at all of these different thresholds. We once again, will be breaking this down. We'll be taking a look at this spreadsheet that I have created to really understand the math, but that is not the purpose of this video. What you need to understand in simply just plain English is that your true percent chance for each pick needs to be higher that means that you will have an expected positive ev but if it's lower you're really expected to lose your money long term and that's exactly what you need to keep in mind is that every pick is slightly below a 50 50 coin flip which is just enough juice for prize picks to profit because at the end of the day they are a business they want your money they don't want you to take money from them and knowing this Smart players are going to focus on picks where they believe that the real win percentage beats whatever we're looking for for each of these different slip types. Now, important thing to note here is that on this, the best odds that you're going to see is actually on a five and six pick flex, right? We see that at minus 119, which across the rest of the board, we're not seeing anything as low as that. Now, because of that, if you go to outliers, uh, positive EV feed, you'll see that all of these default to that minus 119 because again, that's simply the best that you're going to be able to get. But what we also see is on this, we don't indeed see five plays or six plays that we can even choose from. And that doesn't mean just go pick a random one and hope for the best. We need to work with exactly what we've got. So what we see here are four different plays, but the number that we really care about is this fair values odd. So not this minus 119, but as you can see, it says odds and then our fair value odds. That's the number that we care about. What we want is for the average of all of these. So we see minus 126, minus 126, minus 126, and minus 123. If we add all of those up, right, we're going to get a pretty good average. And what we want to do is we compare that to the rest of these. So especially if we're looking at a three pick power, if we took just the top three plays at minus 126, we know that our average is obviously minus 126, which clears this threshold of minus 122, making these three plays that we pair together a profitable slip. And that's all that you need to do. There's no additional research that you need to do. This is exactly how you beat prize picks, which I understand. This is contrast with how some people are treating these DFS sites, treating every single slip like a random lottery ticket. But in reality, Price picks is a skill game that's going to reward skilled players and you need to be able to hone in this skill because if you can actually tilt the odds in your favor, you will be profitable. So the tools and models that are here on Outlier are going to make you that profitable sports better that you were looking to be. And speaking of those lottery slips, what a lot of people do, if we go back over here to price picks, you'll see that a lot of these players are going to have multiple lines. And if you click these arrows, this is just this regular line where we're going to get those fixed payouts no matter what. But what you also see is this green goblin play. Now, this green goblin play is going to actually be a little bit easier to hit in terms of the odds. I'm not saying that these are guaranteed hits, but that's the idea is that, you know, obviously it's a lot easier to hit the 12 and a half than it is the 15 and a half, which is why they give it a goblin play. And if we pair some of the goblins together, what we're going to see is a lower payout. So instead of a three X, what we're actually getting is a 1.9 X. Now these aren't always fixed. So for instance, if I were to take that one off and I were to go find someone else's play like this Franz Wagner play last time we got a 1.9, this time we get a two. It doesn't make sense. It's just two goblins. So it's harder to actually calculate our implied probabilities. What you'll need to do is, you know, go back and forth between all of these different sports books. And to be quite frank, nobody has time for all of that. Now, not only are there goblins, but what we'll also see are these demons. These demons are obviously a little bit harder to hit. That's where we're seeing our plus odds come into play. So instead of 15 and a half, what we see is 19 and a half. And let's go back down to that Franz Wagner play and not take his regular line. Let's go take his goblin line. So now instead of 3x, what we're seeing is a 13x, right? So it's obviously a little bit harder to hit. Now let's see exactly what these are at. So let's look at Franz Wagner going at 29 and a half. So if I go over here to the props and I look for Franz Wagner, let's just see exactly what's going to happen uh where his line is at so instead of the again the 19 and a half we are looking at his 29 and a half and what we're seeing on his 29 and a half is if we look across the rest of the board 
FanDuel actually indeed has this at plus 600. That is very, very difficult to hit. DraftKings, somewhere around the same, plus 585. So again, that's why if we compare these, we can even treat it more like a lottery, right? But the unfortunate thing is, is we don't know where prize picks prices these at because you're not going to see it pop up. It's not a fixed payout. We don't know what each individual of those goblins and those demons come in at. So my personal recommendation is if you are looking for these plays in terms of positive EV, I would stay away. Now there is a separate strategy that you can use called game scripting. Um, and we're not going to talk about that in the purpose of this video, but you could use this filter and really start looking at, you know, when is he actually hitting these plays? You can look at, you know, when is he playing without Mertz Wagner, right? Or whenever he's playing with a particular teammate, how many days of rest is he going to have coming off of a single day? Maybe he's played 30 minutes. You know, previously what we saw was a 0% hit rate, but now we can actually see that he's hit in this game here. So we can manipulate a lot of these different filters to actually see, okay, this is likely what's gonna happen this game. So if you are looking to build higher payouts with these demons or maybe even safer slips with the goblins, you can absolutely do that. And other DFS sites really do the same with, you know, underdog and sleeper using their kind of decimal payouts where you'll see them use something that's completely different than price picks. But you can absolutely do that and compare those as well on uh, Outlier 2. So the takeaway here is that price picks is going to define the odds and that's their job. What your job is, is to find the picks where the actual real success is, and that is the hit rates and the percent odds to hit that outlier.bet is giving you, and then you can start pairing those up to build profitable parlays. Because to win over time, you need to focus on the picks that have a positive expected value and being able to manage your bankroll effectively. So don't throw caution to the wind chasing these 100x payouts, because again, that's a lottery mentality. Instead, what you need to do is build the slips where your confidence justifies beating that minimum criteria for whatever slip type you are looking for. Because remember, prize picks is designed to profit from you in making uninformed plays. So all you have to do is your homework. And again, it can be super easy because if we take a look back here at prize picks, one thing that I didn't mention here is what they're going to offer you are these different promos. So instead of this Victor Wimbanyama play being listed at 24 and a half, they've dropped it down to 18 and a half. And the cool thing is, is that's treated as just a regular play and not necessarily a goblin. So again, if I clear these off, and what I did is I, I selected this Victor Wimbanyaman play and paired it with another one. Again, that's not a goblin. We are seeing our typical, what we should expect to pay out of a 3X slip. Now, in summary, price picks isn't just luck. It's fixed odds. It's a game of skill, but it's in disguise. So if you research player stats, understand the payouts and treat each slip like it's a calculated bet, that's your first step to actually becoming a profitable sports better. So the next time you start creating these slips, make sure to do your math first and then it's game on. Be sure to tune into the next video where we are going to be finding the hidden edge on prize picks, breaking down all of the hit rates on that spreadsheet that we went over in this video. Nonetheless, thank y'all so much for staying tuned up to this point and I will see y'all in the next one.